Whew. Good morning, everybody. Chilly out the, uh, it snowed a little bit. It was like a icy pellet rain thing last night, but here we are another day. Let's release the chickens before we get going. So, we have this opening here, which is awesome and fantastic, right? And um, I want to open up this area over here more. Um, just so I can see in easier and so it's a little bit nicer. So we're gonna get started with that right now and see if we can clear that up with the saw and then um, we'll start pulling out some logs. Holy heck, eh? It's a lot of cleanup. Whole lot of cleanup, but we're gonna try and uh, drop a couple trees and have some fun with that now. Let me give you a little raise up. The sun's gonna be coming into the shot soon. Let me just try and get it there. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. How was that? Uh, did you see it all? Oh yeah, awesome. So, uh, two of those trees were kind of like tangled up and I chose the wrong one to cut first. So I, I wedged it or notched it and had to go back and cut the other one, come back. But they all dropped relatively where I wanted them to uh, drop, which is nice. So I'm just gonna clean this up now. Get everything off the driveway i don't like things on the driveway that's why i want to clear it now that way when the winter comes we don't have trees dropping we had i don't know 15 20 trees last year drop on the driveway so clean it up now it won't be a problem later so here we go i'm gonna clean it up uh for me it'll be like 20 minutes probably for you it'll be like i don't know 30 seconds let's see oh. Wow, that was an hour. <laughs> okay, we got the uh, cleanup crew here helping me out. I got a load of logs going. The uh, gorilla cart's only rated up to 600 pounds, so. Um, and I only have one pin in because we lost the other, the cotter pin or whatever it is um, for the other one. So we'll keep it, make sure it's nice and light, but we'll bring this up so we can process it um, into 18 inch lengths and then split them up and uh, yeah so we'll get going with that and i'll be 
right back. I got, I got outside. We got one, two, three, four, five. We have six more to go. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. Some small ones. So it's another. We had 25 the other day, plus another like 50 or 25. So like 50 there, already back home. Maybe a little more, and then one, two, three, four, seven plus seven, yeah. So we're really close to almost 75 uh, logs by the time we're finished here to uh, cut up and split. So that's uh, <laughs> gonna be a lot of wood. So that's great. That's awesome. Fantastic. Okay, um, we're gonna do a really fun shot where you get to see me leaving here. Watch. Ready? Really cool. Okay. Hello. So Katrina is right over there, uh, and she is going to. Be cutting up the logs and splitting them and oh my gosh she's coming over hi yeah so uh, she's right over there so she's gonna be doing that uh while she's doing that uh she loves it by the way it's like she just she'll do it for eight hours straight if you let her um and then i clean it up all week but uh so what we're gonna do is we're going to like i said before we're gonna take this stuff and we're gonna move it and organize it so it's all in a good pile so that we can either chip it or burn it if we decide to uh Pretty sure we can burn in the winter pretty easily. Like, we're gonna get a permit no matter what, but I think like the permits open up uh, pretty easy in the middle of winter. So uh, we'll probably just have it set up so we can do that for the little stuff. And then bigger stuff, hopefully we can rent uh, a chipper and use that in the in the garden this uh, summer, so. I'm gonna show you where we're at here. So the idea here is this is gonna be for like four inch and up logs that aren't ready for like wood uh, burning really. So this is hopefully if we get a large um, wood chipper in, we'll use that to chip these up at some point. Um, I have a little bit of a brush pile, but I wanna move this again because I got big guys back there. I wanna move the real like crappy brush that's hard to do anything with over a little bit more and in the middle, but that large tree is in the way. Um, so I'm gonna move this over, cut that tree up, and then uh, move that over and get everything kind of cleared up in there and then move over to that stuff. So I'm gonna start cutting. I wanna show you guys. I got a little cut happy and I didn't come back <laughs> to reset, but I basically just did this entire line all the way down. I think you were able to see most of it. Um, and I did a couple of things just to the side that you can't see. So these are pines. So we're not going to burn these inside, but they're going to be good for outside uh, burning, but they have a few years to go until we're gonna burn them. So I'll stack them up somewhere for now and then figure out where we'll put them. But at least it'll be easier to move. Busy work. Okay, I'm back with my helmet. Uh, keeps me safe from stuff that falls on my head. Okay, so we're gonna try and open that area up a little bit real, real quick, like. Uh, 
<laughs> a lot of gas. Okay, that wasn't too bad. It was a good start. We'll keep going. I'll keep moving my way down. But let me go get some more uh, fuel and then I'll be right back. Huh. I am back. But go-go juice. We're almost out of fuel actually, so. I think we'll get more soon. Well then, I'm sorry. You seem to have fallen over or have been knocked over or something. So, I cleared some more land. Some more trees are down all over there. I'm gonna start just working my way back a little bit and uh, then we'll be finished. I got a boatload to clean up on the driveway now and it's like getting dark soon. So, let me find a good spot to put you all down on. Okay, I think I'm finished for today. No more uh, mess making. I have an area now that's cut that's clear enough for the brush, so let me show you what we did to the driveway. Okay, here we go, I'm back. So I'm not gonna lie to y'all, we lost the footage of the end bit. We ended up playing with the dogs for a little bit and uh, I think the battery died and then we tried to get a new battery and then we recorded on something different and um, either way, it all got cleared up. There's even more we cut that you'll see soon. But this is it, nice and clean. Uh, as you see, the snow did fall. Uh, it's now starting to melt, but yeah, we got it all cleaned up.